Now it's time to create the user interface for the Metronome app. Ahead of time, I've created an Xcode project that is formatted for iPhone only, and we'll be using Storyboard within Xcode to create the user interface. The first thing that we'll create will be a switch, and this will serve to turn the metronome on and off. We'll position it at the bottom of the screen, and we'll set the auto layout constraints for the object by right-clicking on the object and dragging to the canvas. And here we'll set to center it horizontally in the container, and as well, space it from the bottom of the layout guide. Finally, we'll set its initial state to off. The next thing that we'll create will be the BPM label. This will be the label that shows what the current BPM of the metronome is. We'll search for a label, drag it onto the canvas, and position it at the top of the screen. Next, we'll change its attributes, specifically its title, its text alignment, and its size and appearance. Once those attributes are changed, we'll resize the label by going to Editor, Size to Fit Content. Finally, we'll set its auto layout constraint so that it's centered horizontally in the container and its top space to the layout guide. Now we need a way to control the BPM, and for this we'll use a slider. So I'll search for a slider and drag it out onto the canvas, then I'll position it underneath the BPM label. I'll change the attributes so that the minimum value is 30 and the maximum is 220. In case you're wondering why 30 and 220, these are the traditional minimum and maximum values of a metronome. Then I'll drag the width of the slider to the width of the container, at least to the margins. Finally, just as before, I'll set the auto layout constraints. It would help the user to know what this slider is, so we'll create a label for it. I'll drag a label out from the right onto the canvas, and I'll change its attributes of title, size, and text alignment. Just as I did before, I'll resize the label by going to Editor, Size to Fit Content, and I'll set its auto layout constraints. Our metronome allows for the subdivision of beats, so we'll use a segmented control to accomplish this. I'll drag it out onto the canvas and then change its width. For its attributes, I'll set it to have eight segments and I'll quickly label those segments one through eight. Finally, I'll set the auto layout constraints so that it is spaced from the BPM label it's centered in the container, and its trailing space and leading space are to the container margin. The user needs to know what this control is, so we'll give it a label. Just as I did before with the other labels, I'll change its attribute, its size, and I'll set its auto layout constraints. Now that I'm done, I'll open the Assistant Editor to see what this looks like with different iPhone form factors. To do this, I'll choose Preview from the jump bar on the right pane, and then I'll look for a plus icon at the bottom left of that pane. When I click on that icon, I get the different iPhone form factors, and I can load them simultaneously. As well, I could always just build the app in the simulator, and I'll do that now. Here, I'm being shown the app in an iPhone 6. With the user interface built, now it's time to implement its functionality. 